Worldwide Jets, Worldwide Mets. On the Breakfast Club. She's a coach of shit. She was able to get y'all to see something and understand something that nobody could get you to see. It's time to set it off. I swear I be in another world sometimes, like pregnancy brain. About what happened? I because I'm thinking we want a whole nother segment. I got to deliver the news right now. Yeah, it's That's called Just With Your Best. And, and your I, news is real. First of all, yeah, I know, but I'm like over here chewing gum in La La Land, thinking about something I want to eat, and I got to talk about this. Anyway, my video. I know. Kyla Pratt talks about uh, feeling dismissed by her nurse during her second pregnancy. So the latest episode of Recipe for Change, which is um, a show by Tatiana Ali, uh, Kyla Pratt talked about the nurse who ignored her during her uh, her birth. My second pregnancy, I went into labor early mm -hmm. and being in the hospital and I told the nurse there that I was having contractions and she looked at the machine and she said, no, you aren't. Mm -mm. And I said, yes, I am. I've done this before. Go get my doctor. Mm -hmm. And luckily, standing up for myself in that moment, my daughter is here now because mm -hmm. she went to get my doctor. My doctor said, oh, you're six centimeters dilated. Now we have to do an emergency C-section. Wow. Uh, but because I was so small, it wasn't showing up on the machine. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, I didn't really recognize when people weren't listening to me because I was young, mm -hmm. um, because I'm black mm -hmm. and because I'm a woman. That's why the black maternal death rate is what it is because these doctors don't take black women serious when they tell them something's wrong. Exactly, mm -hmm. and and I love to hear us uh, black black women speaking on healthcare experiences like that. That's another reason why. Remember, I was telling both y'all, I don't want to have my baby in the hospital. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to do this in like a birthing center, or I want to do home birth. Like mm -hmm. that's why it's important for midwives and doulas and and more more black women mm -hmm. to be. Um, in, this, in that industry, you know, we need more health, black healthcare workers. And, and and those doulas can catch things that, you know, like uh, Kyla said, she she mm -hmm. she missed. Mm -hmm. when she was like, you know, she didn't know right. to stand up for herself mm -hmm. and things like that. Those doulas, that's what those doulas are for, to yep. fill in those gaps. Yep, right. and to talk for you. And, that's right. Because you in, you in pain. You're in pain, Think about yeah. It. You, yep. You, yep. Your mind is everywhere. Or you haven't experienced it before. Like most yeah. of it's their first experience, so they don't know what they're experiencing, yeah. what their body's going through, so yeah. Yep, yep, and like I said, I, I tell people now more openly, open about it now when I was having ash and I had an epidural and mm -hmm. I you know and the doctor was like so this student is gonna do your epidural what and I yeah and I'm young you know I'm, I'm 20 I'm like yo I'm hurting whatever whoever gotta do it do it and I had to be stuck twice Yeesh. like that that needle in your back and you gotta be careful and you gotta stay as still as you can because you can be paralyzed that's right mm. so I just wish that I would have sued and got that money, and I wouldn't have to be here with y'all. No. <laughs> Salute to all the doulas so. out there, though, because doulas are important, even with guys, right? Because when you a guy and you see your woman in pain like yeah. that, you bugging out. You be talking to the nurses and everybody crazy. So mm -hmm. salute to all the doulas that uh, keep things calm. Drop on the clues bombs for Latham Thomas, Miss Glow Maven. She 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 was our doula for our last last two. Mm. Yes. Nice. Billy D. Williams says actors should be allowed to wear blackface. Um, he has sat down with Bill Maher on his podcast, and they were talking about the white actor who played a black character in the movie Othello. Today, I mean, they would never let you do that. Why? Blackface? Why you, not? Because you should do it. That's your point of view. You should, th th if you're th an th actor, you should do anything you want to do. I. That's a great point of view, but the theater would be bombed. As an actor, you should be able to do whatever you think you can do, you should be able to do it. The point is... And that's a great attitude, but it still did happen. But I mean, but and the Paul Muni comes from an era... You don't go through life feeling like I'm a victim. Correct. I couldn't agree with that more. While I understand the end part, I do understand, like, you can't go through life feeling like a victim. Does he not know where blackface came from and how, like, I, I mean, I just, I was, I was rather shocked to hear his take on that. Um, and Bill Maher kept trying to bring it back. Like, no, nah, yo, this is, you know, but, but like I said, mm -hmm. he not thinking about it from that per point of view. He was more so like. An actor can p do anything. If you're an actor, that's yes. what you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you push limits and you do things that you wouldn't mm -hmm. do in your real regular life. You're acting. Yeah, but uh, blackface is just a specific thing, though, because it's the practice yeah. of non-black performers and they used to put the, you know, the black paint on their face to portray caricatures mm -hmm. of black people. Right. So it would also, it would always, it, all, it would always be like these offensive yeah. stereotypes of black people yeah. making us look the worst. Right. So, mm -hmm. no, you shouldn't be allowed to wear black face no. but I you know I, I can see uh, his, pushing a limit yeah, yeah but, I can see his argument for people being able to, to, 
to act as, yeah. as, as, as black people. And then the movie in, in Othello, the, the white guy, he he said, Billy D said he fell out laughing because they mm -hmm. put a big ass on a character. That's 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 offensive. That's that, a character mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah so. I just don't see what the need for that would be. Yeah, like you <laughs> need to do it. Like there's plenty of black actors and actresses out here. We don't need no white people we don't. pretending to be black <laughs> people at this point. I don't see the need for that in 2024. And I think Absolutely. Billy D's 88 years old, right? Or 90 yeah, years old, somewhere he's, up there. He's, he's up there. He's up there. He is? He that old? Mm -hmm. He has been around for a long time. And he looks good, too. He still looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Zendaya wishes she would have went to school instead of being a child actor. So she recently spoke to Vogue about working at just 14 years old and her becoming the breadwinner of the family very early. She, uh, she got her start um, in 2010 on Disney show, Shake It Up. And she said she feels like she's going through her teenager phase right now, you know, as a grown woman, because mm -hmm. she didn't really get to have a childhood. She didn't get to live out her teenage years as a teenager because she was always working. Um, she quoted, I'm very tense, and I think that I carry that from being a kid and never really having an opportunity to just try-ish. And I wish I went to school. So... And they're basically saying she tired of y'all. Yeah. yeah. She's so tired. Yeah. She's been working for a long, 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 long time. And stuff like that okay. makes me sad because I'm like... Oh. Like she really wished that she could have a childhood, and and that was that was like that's a lot of these kids, a lot of these actors that we watch on TV and yeah. that I grew up watching, like you know, like China, the the late uh, the the McLean sisters, China McLean, and all of them mm -hmm. younger kids, and they wanted childhoods, like. But it's from people that she started when she was like, uh, she was fourteen, like Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Mm -hmm. They started when they was two years old. You know, their first role was on Full House. So I just be like, dang, do they all feel like that? I hate that Zendaya is growing up, to be honest with you. Cause yeah. whatever, I saw the, the trailer for the new movie she in, and she kissing two boys at the same time. And then yeah. before that, you had Euphoria. So when you got children that grew up off Casey Undercover, and they just like Zendaya, they yeah. want to see all of this, too. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, damn. I always wonder with childhood actors and childhood performers, like, because the parents have to give up their lives to make mm -hmm. sure that they can support the child that they're there so they don't have a Nickelodeon type of thing, right? Yep. So you got to make sure you're there. So you sacrifice your your life for your kids which is fine mm -hmm. but then when your kids get to an age when do you let them go because your whole life has been your kids yeah your whole finances have been your kids yeah so i wonder how that works because we, we see them with britney spears father and all these other dads yeah. like <clears throat> but i understand it and because now, the yeah. parents had to give up their lives yeah. right but now all of their relationships are estranged because look at britney and her father you're right because they probably feel like they was getting pushed when they didn't want to get pushed and they probably mm -hmm. been want to quit and the parents were like no we gotta get this money we gotta yeah. pay okay this we gotta now pay that they're old enough to understand right. that they was nothing but indentured servants they like f y'all <laughs> okay i'm sick of this all right well that was just with the mess Absolutely. all right when we come back we'll tell you about this man who's suing 50 women who uh put on i guess some type of app that he was a bad date oh my god that's right well it's not <laughs> Them, sir, it's you. Well, we'll talk about it when we come back <laughs> okay. at the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.